What's up designers? Today you'll learn how to create this animated timeline without using a single line of code in Framer. First create a new section for our timeline, place it in the desktop frame and set width to fill. Set layout to the vertical stack with gap of 20 pixels, adjust the paddings and remove the fill. Now create a frame for the timeline row and set section height to fit content. Set width of the timeline row to fill and layout to the horizontal stack. Then set gap to for example 48 pixel and remove the fill. Inside the timeline row, create two inner sections, one for the progress bar and one for the content. And now we can adjust the timeline row height, so let's set it to fit content. Set content wrapper width to fill. Now we can also limit its width to make the text easier to read. Set its layout to the vertical stack with left alignment and change distribute to star. Set the gap, remove the fill and place the content inside the content wrapper. To make it fully responsive, set all your content width to fill. Now let's organize this content a little bit. Set content wrapper height to fit content and give it a bottom padding so that each row will be a little bit higher. Now we can take care of progress bar wrapper. Set its width to 100 pixel and height to fill. Set vertical layout and change distribute to start. This gap should match the gap set in timeline section. Inside progress bar wrapper, type a number and draw another frame for our progress bar. Set its width to for example 3 pixels, height to fill and change the color. I'm gonna set it to white with 5% opacity. Inside this frame, draw another one, which will be our fill. Set the width to 100% and change the position to 0 pixels from the top and both sides. Now, set the height to 50VH. This is because our fill is just a frame that is fixed to the top with 50 viewport height and is hidden behind progress bar frame. But if I duplicate this few times and hit play, as you can see it will not work just yet. Let's delete the duplicates. What we need to do is to make the fill fixed to the top. Normally we would set the position to fixed, but it's not possible here. So, as a workaround, we can apply the scroll speed effect. Set the speed to 0% and position to scroll. Now if I duplicate this few times and hit play, the scroll bar works as supposed. This behavior is only possible because the section before the timeline has 50 viewport height. If we delete the upper section, we won't achieve this effect because the fill will be already visible. Now let's animate this a little bit. We will match the number to the progress bar background and create content appear effect. Let's give each row scroll section name. Now apply appear effect on the number. Set trigger to section in view, section to current row name, viewport to the middle, replay to yes and remove exit animation. To match the progress bar, set opacity to 0.05 and scale to 1. Change the transition to ease. 
on the content wrapper, apply the same appear effect with the same settings. But this time, leave opacity at zero and you can add some wire offset. Apply these effects on the other rows. As you can see, now the number color matches the progress bar background and as soon as our content reaches the center of our viewport, it starts to animate. Now we can take care of responsiveness. I'm gonna set the timeline row gap to 20 pixels on tablet and 16 pixels on mobile. And I will adjust the paddings as well. To make it more condensed, let's change the number font on mobile to let's say 48 and progress bar wrapper width to 64. If you want this side by side layout, it's pretty easy to achieve. All you need to do is draw a blank frame inside timeline row and set its width to fill. As you can see on desktop and tablet, the layout looks good, but on mobile it's cramped. We need to select these blank frames, set their visibility to no, and correct the order inside timeline rows. Now, if we hit preview, the mobile looks good as well. We can get a read of progress bar in the last row. Now it's time for debugging. When we enter the page with timeline from another page, the progress bar will load already filled. The fill will disappear as soon as we start scrolling, but it's unwanted behavior. To fix this, we can apply a pure effect on the fill. Set Trigger to Section in View, choose Current Row, set Viewport to Middle and Replay to No. Set Scale to 1 and to make it smooth apply really short easing, for example 0.1 seconds. Now on the published website, the timeline will work fine. And this is how you can make the animated timeline in Framer. I will leave links to preview and remix in the description. If you like this tutorial, follow my social media for more web design content. See you later.